Today we're taking a closer look at the Anthem SP2 coffee grinder. It's been used here in the bar for about two years now and we supply this out to all of our artistic customers. We want to share with you just some of the specs and why we choose this grinder and how we also use it as well. So let's get straight into it. As I said before, we've had this Anthem SP2 here for two years and they've been faultless. We just haven't had an issue with them and that's why we do supply them to all of our Artisti Coffee accounts. So we really do love them. Now we're not getting paid by Anthem at all, but in terms of um, the reliability, the consistency and the quality, we just, we just love that and we want to give that to our customers as well. So let's just quickly take a run through the specs. The biggest thing that the Anthem SP2 has is a 75mm titanium coated set of flat blade burrs. Now that is fantastic, it's a big set of burrs running at 650 RPM so it's cutting nice and fast but because they're titanium coated there's less heat being applied to those beans. It also allows those beans to come out quite hastily through the dosing chute into your um, porter filter and keeping those grinds nice and clean and fluffy. So that speed and the big burrs is a real plus for us. You've got a two kilo hopper that sits on top with three screws so it's, it's held down quite tightly um, and you do have adjustment grind control which is stepless. Um, just going to the right clockwise you're going to increase the coarseness of your grind and if you go anti-clockwise it's going to go finer. There's a really nice handy indicator on the front here with the arrow um, and slope up showing coarser or finer and the red arrow um, which can identify that number but also as the blades wear you do um, just unscrew that and you move the arrow across to allow for the adjustment because it will get to the very end at some point it's really easy to do. In your dosing chute um, this is the SP2 Plus, so now when you do remove this, it does have um, the safety guard, um, so the machine will cut out, and also when you take off the hopper, it will stop it so that you can't munch your fingers basically in the top. Those two safety features are on the SP2 Plus, they're not on the original SP, so SP2, so we're glad that they've added those in. The other thing that has been upgraded to the SP2 Plus is the way that the machine recognizes that you've got a porter filter in your hand and you're putting it into the grinder. So previously they had a button, but now it's a, um, mag a metal sensor or metal proximity sensor, which will identify that the handle's in and that will start the grind. It's really simple. You just lock it in and away you go. It's got a fully adjustable um, group head handle holder which is great because you can use it for the large 21 gram style and naked or even one of your smaller 7 gram handles and it just sits in beautifully. Uh, on the side you've got two buttons to be able to select single um, time dose or a double time dose and an easy plus and minus which displays down on the blue LED screen down the bottom. Um, and then you've got a manual button down the side, which we use a lot. Now, we don't naturally have this rest in our cafes. We remove it and we put on the additional scale holder. This is the setup that we use. It's an aftermarket scale holder. Um, we've got the Ikea scale on here and we use a stainless steel dosing pot because that allows to, it to activate the proximity sensor. So what we do is we tear our scale, get our grind, And we're looking for 22.5 grams. The grinder is pretty consistent when you've got um, the clump crusher all cleaned out. So we've got 22 grams. Now we need a 0.5 and the manual button down the side is awesome. With a quick little tap, we can get that exact, that's 22.6. So it's nearly spot on. Um, we always underdose our setting on our timer so that we can quickly add that little bit extra if we need to. These rhino dosing pots fit the 58 mil standard group handles and they're available on our website. And they dose beautifully. Keep it nice and tidy for you as well. Setup we use. It's a Anthem. <laughs> Do you want to wait for that fork if it goes? Yeah. Every time it goes reverse, that's going to go off. After. <laughs> So as we chase, oh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Some 
grinders, you flip and beep, beep, beep. I'm perfection. This forklift is ridiculous. It just keeps going off. Let's have a coffee. All right. Let's have a batchy. You want a coffee? I'll have a coffee. You have a coffee. Have you tried the monsoon Malabar yet? Yeah, I've had a, had a couple of cups, it's good. Yeah, what's your thoughts? You enjoying it? Yeah, I really like it, it's different. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a different coffee, people either like it or hate yeah. it. That's nice. Definitely got an um, earthy boldness to it. Mm. It did actually have tobacco written down as a description when we took it off, because that can be scaring people. Yeah, it's, right. it's not smoke tobacco, yeah. it's actually yeah. the pouch tobacco. Um, oh, yeah. And that's coming through. It's pretty tasty. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Here's to forklift noise. <laughs> forklift and, noise. <laughs> and uh, plumbers. <laughs> An excuse to have a coffee break. Uh, that's the coffee. <laughs> it's this month. You can come and buy it. Are we still recording? Yes, <laughs> I think we are. Oh, we can turn this in on that. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to work soon, eh? Cheers, guys. <laughs> Because the Anthem is a stepless grinder, we can really chase um, getting a great fine grind to increase our TDS and make sure that the recipe that we're using uh, is actually having a great result on the end. So when you do go finer, um, you can um, have a blockage inside the grind chute. Now that may happen because the humidity or the rain uh, in the day can, can change um, how much those grind particle sizes are actually sticking together. The great thing about the Anthem SP2 is with an Allen key, you can quickly undo the two screws, um, remove the grind plate cover, which will actually activate the safety switch. So the grinder will turn off so you can't um, grind your fingers inside the unit. Give it a quick scrape out and a brush down um, there's the spring, give it a tap and a clean, um, which is actually, the spring is the clump crusher. So you'll be able to pop that back in, pop the um, grind chute cover on and the two Allen keys back in and you're ready to go. So all up in the middle of service, if your grinder breaks or gets blocked, you can fix that in about 30 seconds, which is the quickest by far on any grinder in the market. When you buy the Anthem and you start to grind and you've, you've basically activated the button, the minute you take your handle away or the pot away, the grind will actually stop. It won't continue to grind the full amount of time that you've set for your single or your double button. You have to go into the menu and change that. Now, you would leave it um, as the initial setting if you want to grind straight into the handle, remove it halfway through the grind, give it a bit of a tap on the, um, uh, the grind holder, and then grind off the balance of your dose. For us though, when we're using the dosing pot, we want to activate the sensor and grind off the full amount of coffee. So easy to change inside the settings of the menu. So having a clean grinder and being able to get that really fine grind, uh, we find that the Anthem Big Flat Burrs make our coffee just taste beautiful. They pair so well with the Lamazocco machines where we can dial in the temperature of that machine to what's happening with the grind. So from that perspective, we really love it. They're, they're reliable, they're bulletproof. And we just, it's a pleasure for us to, to share these with our wholesale customers. So what's not to like about the Anthem SP2? Well, commonly people who have had one of these grinders or a previous version say that they're noisy. And look, I'll agree, they are a noisy grinder. But I think that's more the technology over the actual Anthem SP2. If you look at any of the EKs or Mythos grinders that have really big flat burrs, basically you've got a big surface area that's it's running at a much higher speed. So the grind noise is a lot louder when you compare to any type of conical grinder, let's say like a, a Mazza Rover. So you can't compare a flat burr versus a conical. They are, they're two different technologies and they are going to sound a, a lot different. So what you would want to do is compare maybe uh, an Anthem versus a Mythos versus a, an EK or something which have that same technology. Now when you compare those three there might be some slight variations uh, in those the dB level or the noise that they're going to be making between the models um, but overall when you look at what um, coffee is about it's about the theatre and the experience of coffee and the noises. It's the steam one going off, it's the bashing of the handle on the knock tube, it's the grinder going off. Now, if I walk into a cafe and I don't hear a grinder going off, I start to think that that is not fresh ground coffee and it might be stale and sitting inside those dosing hoppers on the front. And I don't want to drink that kind of coffee. We all know that coffee dries out so quickly. 
So hearing a grinder go off all the time from a customer's perspective is actually a positive. You know that barista is making sure that at that moment in time, they're getting the right grind and it's, it's freshly ground for you to enjoy the espresso the best you possibly can. You can order the grinders in black or white. We only ever have white because it suits our brand and it looks nice and crisp and clean. Um, and you can see up on the hopper here, we do have some awesome masking tape. Um, now we've got our recipe on here, how much to, to grind in um, and out and our times that we're looking for in our yields. Um, and we've got a little sticky date there, which basically we have a count of how many bags we use per day here in the bar. So you're gonna have to organize your own masking tape to track that, it doesn't come with the Anthem. So thanks Anthem for producing a grinder that we love. We really enjoy it, um, you've done a great job and over time you have definitely made some of the more modern uh, changes for safety um, and um, technology with the metal sensing to, to start the grind. Um, there's some progression that's happened over the years and we really appreciate you guys focusing on making a better grinder. Uh, so price, where does it sit? Uh, it's between the three to $4,000 mark, depending on where you are around the world. Um, the dosing plates, I think are about $150 as an additional extra. Uh, if you buy from us, um, we will make sure they're included if that's um, something you ask for. Uh, the dosing pots, um, these are the rhinos, they're available on our store as well for about 25 bucks. And you can get the Ikea Lunar Scales as well, which fit beautifully in here. Um, if you're looking at this as a full option, just a bit of rubber as well, um, just stops the scales from sliding around. So um, we'd recommend getting a bit of that. Um, if you've got any questions, hey guys, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to answer those for you uh, around these grinders. Uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.